Hello ladies, Coach Sean here. Two parts to this one. Part one, if we've had possession down in their zone, the other team gains possession. So this is our offensive zone. This is their goalie with a sad face. If we're in a situation where we have a forward here, a forward here, and one high, okay? We lose possession. They're skating with the puck this way. This forward here gives chase. Love it. This forward here is now jumping down. What is this F, our forward, to do? Should she continue to chase? You know that we've got one down low. We have another coming down low. Where are we most vulnerable? Work back to the middle of the ice. Get on the defensive side of the puck and look for work. Okay? Let's talk now about the forecheck. The forecheck can be magical, right? This would occur if we dump the puck in, if we have a line change and the puck goes back. This is a situation with the forecheck where their team has the puck down low in their zone and we are coming in to attack. What we want to do is gain possession of that puck and to make it very difficult for them to break out of their zone. How do we do it? Sad face again. Let's say the puck is chipped down into the zone here. We've got their D that comes down. And they're skating this way. When we come to attack this player, our first forward. Remember, it doesn't matter how you line up for a faceoff. If you're the first player in, you're our F1. You're going to set the tone for what your buddies and teammates should do. What we don't want to do is skate directly at the puck because then we're exposed to be beat either way. What we want to do is we want to force this puck to the wide wall. We want to force it to the wall. How do we do that? Well, as we work our forward checking drills, remember, we take an inside out angle and we force that player that way. So our body won't allow their body to cut back or to get to the inside. And as we continue to angle, our stick is on the puck, right? And so we want to end up squeezing them out, rubbing them out on the wall here. So while you're doing this work, coming in like a crazy lady, right? Full speed hockey, inside out angle, force them to the outside. You know you have help coming with your second forward. Your second forward is going to be waiting exactly where you're forcing the puck to, all right? So we're here with the forecheck. You set the tone. You're telling our second forward that this puck, I'm forcing this puck carrier to the wall. In doing this, you're waiting for the puck carrier and you're preventing that pass coming up the wall. Our third forward, what do we do? You're like a safety in football, okay? I want you to read and react to what's happening. Right? The puck ends up coming D to D, you're on it. The puck's trying to come cross ice, you're on it. Okay? If we end up down low and we get beat, we expose all of this. Good teams, like the one we played less than a week ago, is just easily going to move the puck cross ice, and now they have an odd man break coming up ice. Okay? So let's review this again. Puck gets chipped in. Okay? We had a line change. Here comes our first forward, right? You're coming hot, right? We're going to take inside out angle and force this player here. We're doing this with purpose. We're forcing this player to where we have our next friend who read that you're forcing this player up this side into this wall. I'm going to go meet here for the party, okay? Your player, your buddy, your job, put a body on body. Don't let that player back to the inside. Put a stick on puck, create a turnover. Forward, read and react to what's happening. If she gets a stick on puck, we have a loose puck, jump down and take that puck. Okay? If she can't quite get a stick on puck, you're here to do what? You're not allowing that pass to come up the wall or up the boards. Our third forward, you're high. You're going to read and react to what's happening. Okay? If we come cross ice, 
we're on it. If we try to make a pass that's coming cross ice here, hopefully you can intercept and prevent that pass. What we're trying to do is put this defenseman in a terrible spot where they have a player forcing you outside, you can't pass to the wall, and we have somebody here as well. In doing so, hopefully we can create a turnover. What do we do if Coach Sean says force this player out wide? Okay, this D is skating this way with the puck. Here's our forward. Our other forward's here. Other forward's high. But this player, we lose body position, reverse pivots, and heads this way back behind their net. What do we do? Well, I assume this forward's still going to be tight and close. You continue to give chase to this player. And try to force them outside. This player now is doing what? We're working this side of the ice. This player here is now working back across the top. So we're still, this won't be as clean and pretty necessarily, but we're still accomplishing the same thing. We're still trying to force to the wall. We're still preventing this up wall pass. And we still have our high safety here to make a play on the puck. Attitude, little